Hey you guys, Wilbur here, and today we are back with another video for you guys, and in today's video, we're going to be counting down the top 5 best easter eggs in Shadows of Evil. As always, I am joined with my good friend Greg FPS. his channel will be linked down in the description to where you can go and subscribe, say hello, say Wilbur sent you, and if you're over on Greg's channel and wouldn't mind coming checking out my channel, by all means go and do that. But without further ado guys, let's get into the top 5 best easter eggs in Shadows of Evil. Coming in at the number 5 spot for the top 5 easter eggs on Shadows of Evil, we have the black and white easter egg. Now this was just discovered recently, and the really cool thing about it is you just have to go to the boxing gym, you'll see a bunch of different pictures on the wall in the back upstairs area. You shoot one of the pictures down, it's going to fall on the floor, you just hover over it, look at another picture and press square, and then it turns into black and white. It's a really, really easy easter egg and it's really cool. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the donut and cake easter egg. Now this one's really really easy to do, you go near the boxing gym to get trip mines and then all you have to do is kill a zombie in front of the different carts around the map and there's two different ones. If you do it in the devil's donuts, you're actually going to get like a cake thing that splatters out, it's kind of like cream and then there's another one that's a cake one that you do in front of the cake ones and basically donuts burst out, it's really cool to do. So definitely check it out if you haven't. There's a bunch of tutorials for them on YouTube. You can check them out in the description if you want. Coming in at the number three spot, we have the Easter egg songs. Now in every Call of Duty, you have that one Easter egg to go do, which is to activate these songs. It would be either on Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I don't know if they had them on World at War, but I know they have them in Black Ops 3. And on Shadows of Evil, there's actually two Easter egg songs to do. Now those two songs are the theme song and where the Femme Fatale has a singing kind of song you can go and activate that there are tutorials on YouTube if you ever want to go and find them now these songs are really good for a few reasons one of them I'd like to point out personally I know that it gets really boring when you're going through round to round and you're like where's the music where's the fun what you gotta go do is just go activate these songs a few of them you actually just gotta go up to a few objects and press square and it's pretty easy you can just go up to them and the song activates and it's really cool I know I like to kill zombies and listen to a little bit of music at the same time that's why it's coming in at the number three spot now moving on to the number two spot we have the free mega gobble gum easter egg in this easter egg it's really cool because all you need for this to work is have widow's wine and once you have widow's wine you go to the four lions in the canal district and you throw your little widow's wine sticky grenades into their mouth i know that sounded really wrong but you know what i mean and by doing that to all four of the lions you will receive a free white gobble gum and once you have that gobble gum all you got to do is go to the candy shop place it down and wait a few rounds and once you've waited a few rounds there you go a free mega gumble gum you will receive by just picking it up it's a quick simple and easy easter egg to do on the map it's really good when you're going for high rounds because you might run out of mega gobble gums and you'll be like i can't hit up the gobble gum machine because i have run out of gobble gums so what you gotta go do is do these steps and there you go there's a free mega gobble gum for you now moving on to greg and he's going to be saying what the number one spot is for the top five best easter eggs in shadows of evil Coming in at the number one spot for the best easter egg on Shadows of Evil definitely has to be the main easter egg. It's really really cool, you get an awesome cutscene with Rick Toffin, and honestly I think it's awesome. So the easter egg is probably not the best easter egg that we've ever seen in Call of Duty, but it's still pretty cool and it's definitely a fun fun accomplishment. I've done it like seven times by now, so I've definitely done it a lot. I think it's pretty cool and it's definitely a lot of fun. Make sure you guys do it with your friends. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's top 5. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and comment down in the comment section what top 5 you want to be seen next week. We do take suggestions. This was suggested by one of you guys, so thank you for commenting down. But if you comment down in the comment section saying what you want to see, it could be a top 5 guns, could be a top 5 gobble guns. We've done those in the past. Just give us some options and we'll take them into consideration. On behalf of Greg and I, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out and goodbye.